Hello, Nerdfighters. My name is David, and I'm the lead volunteer for Symbi Community Development, a nonprofit mutual aid skill banking platform that has its own digital currency built in. Now, that's a lot of buzzwords, and digital currencies are a big, potentially revolutionary thing right now. So let's talk a little bit about money. Everyone knows that dollars are really scarce. It's probably pretty obvious that most people have a skills or the ability to provide a service or even some goods in inventory that they could sell if there were customers with money who wanted to buy those from them, right? Uh, so it's clear in society that there is less money to go around than there are goods and services on offer just in general. And one of the responses to this has been the cryptocurrency revolution where people decide to mint to create their own value, right? They create their own digital collectible tokens that allow them to uh, describe them as representing certain things and to buy and sell them on various exchanges. And while that seems pretty revolutionary, pretty awesome, the problem is that it generally incentivizes a lot of really speculative behavior. And that speculative behavior tends to express itself through the philosophy of number go up. The idea that as long as you were early enough or clever enough or smart enough to get a bunch of tokens at a really cheap price, at some point you will make a lot of money by selling them at a higher price. And that's all well and good as long as it's money you can afford to lose, uh, as long as you don't mind gambling that money on the possibility of number going up, but it really doesn't do much to help create the possibility of mutual aid or people within a community getting their needs met and helping to meet the needs of others. So to sum up the crypto response to problems with our normal money, i.e. state or bank currency, the problem is that crypto is thirsty. It's just all about making more money. And usually that's thought of in terms of dollars that people can pull out of the system for being right on a speculative bet. And this is really antithetical to the understanding of community mutual aid that time banks, complementary currencies, local exchange trading systems, and other types of local or community-based alternative currencies have been trying to implement for decades. The problems for those systems is that because there's no profit motive in the system, there's never really been any incentive for anyone to invest large amounts of dollars in the creation of really good alternative currency systems that don't have speculative elements to them. So that's why we built and run Symbi as a nonprofit community currency with absolutely no speculative aspects. Symbi credits on the platform can be used to buy and sell services, skills, handcrafted goods even, but they have no convertibility to dollars or from dollars or any other national fiat currency. And the effect of this is that it keeps them out of both the number go up uh, mentality and it keeps them out of the cryptocurrency world that allows the number go up mentality to thrive. We definitely think that Symbi's early years have proven that there is a massive appetite uh, among people who have skills and talents and want to share those with their community, but also have needs that they need to get met. And there just aren't enough dollars or scarce cryptocurrency or any other type of currency to mediate those potential connections that could be made amongst people. And so we're really excited about Symbi's future as a IRS certified 501c3 nonprofit. Um, we can't wait to continue to grow based on the generosity of our community and those uh, on the internet who see the potential for non-speculative community currencies uh, to grow and thrive. Thanks so much for your time. Uh, we appreciate any help you're able to provide. Incidentally, if anyone knows anyone at Amazon or AWS, we could really use some extra free credits over there too. Uh, that would go just as far as any possible personal donation someone could make. So uh, make it happen. Thanks for watching this video. Thanks for your time. Project for Awesome is amazing. Hank and John, you're amazing. 
Everyone in this community is amazing. We appreciate you. On behalf of Simbi, thanks so much. Bye-bye.